in this video we are going to discuss how we can add another activity just like the assignment so let us log in first with uh, admin user id and password and uh, then we will see that what uh, what activity we can add so in the previous uh, video we have seen that there are many activities uh, in the model and uh, all those activities can be used in the course for evaluation purpose and also giving the work related to the topic to the students so that they can submit the assigned task and uh, the evaluation can be done based on the input received from them so in order to add the activity first uh, we have to click on turn editing on and uh, after that we can see that some of the icons are enabled so first I click on add an activity or resource and here I can notice that activities and resources the activity picker window has uh, appeared so I choose the quiz there are many uh, but I am choosing uh, quiz here and rest of the other activities we will discuss in other uh, videos so this quiz actually will enable a teacher to create quiz comprising question of various types related to the topic and uh, it will include multiple choice question matching and numerical sort and long uh, means uh, sort answer so this will help the content creator to receive the input from the students and also uh, will be easy to judge or uh, the performance of the different students who are taking part in that particular course so let's add this one I click on add button so as soon as I click on add it will open another window and here I can give the title quiz time okay let me give and the description also can be given here quiz time the timing can be enabled like on which day it will start and when it will get over so for example the time is given up to 13 30 if you want to give the time limit also for example 30 minute or 40 minute or 60 minute for this quiz so you can assign the uh, set the timing then uh, when time expires open attempts are submitted automatically when the time expires if you have set the timing need not to submit uh, click on submit button automatically it will be submitted when the uh, the time is over next option this is the grade category by default there is no category so uncategorized grade to pass so in 10 scale we can give like if the user is able to get 5 out of 10 so uh, user will be considered as a pass to this category grade and attempts allowed you can restrict the number of attempts to be given to the student generally in quiz no uh, uh, restriction can be to one only only one attempt uh, should be given but it is choice of the teacher that how many attempts are given to the different students then layout every question will appear on the screen how the question behavior will be shuffle within questions so yes and how question behave default feedback the review will be done based on the default options available in the Moodle and here the appearance no images so the user picture if you want user picture to be displayed on the screen so it can be selected from here and decimal places in grade if you want 
you can give up to number of decimal here extra restriction in attempt like if you want the user to enter the password and then attempt the quiz so in that case the password also can be assigned means given and overall feedback that grade boundary 100% the feedback all these can be set so it is all the additional fields which can be added to the quiz so I am just with minimum fields I am moving just going ahead to create so finally I click on save and return to course so the template I have created now it's time to add the question so I click on quiz time and I can notice that whatever the settings I have done while creating this quiz time it is visible now but I cannot find any questions here why because we did not add any question to this quiz so in order to add the quiz click on edit quiz and here we can find one button add which has three component three options the question can be added directly as a new question or from the question bank or from the random question so I'm taking the first option a new question so when I click on new question I can notice here that there are many question type which can be added to the quiz and it can be multiple choice it can be true false matching short answer numerical so based on these fields or you can say the number of type the quiz can be uh, the question can be added to the quiz so first one I am taking the multiple choice which will allow me to give more than one option to answer so I click on add and it will open one window so here we can select the category by default I am going with the default for quiz time and then I'll enter here the name of tool is Moodle for online learning so I give here the name of tool is Moodle for online learning so my question is uh, not correct because I am uh, going ahead with the multiple choice so I have to create the question in such a way so I should write here what is the name of tool for online teaching here also I will do the same thing so I simply copy and paste so the question text can be different also based on the nature of the question and answer here so for example I give Moodle so the grading it means 100% this is the correct answer and uh, for example I give here Joomla so it is not correct so I leave it none with the WordPress and uh, Drupal so I leave it none I do not grade create grade here and finally I click on save changes so when I click on save changes we can notice that one question is created so similarly we can create other questions also so again I have to click on add button and click on add a new question and then click on true false so I'm taking the second or second one so I cl just cl add it again I have to choose the category and then the Moodle is open source software this is my question name Moodle is open source software and here now I have to define whether it is correct or not 
so correct answer is true so I can give here Moodle is open source and uh, the false you can leave it blank so I just click finally on save changes so I can notice now that two questions have been added to the quiz time so in this way uh, means other question also can be added and uh, finally uh, let us check now whether a student is able to answer the attend attempt the quiz or not so for that I'll just log out and log in as user means student so when I log in here I go to the particular course and I can see that quiz time which we created just now is available so I click on quiz time and we can notice here that attempts allowed the quiz opened at Thursday 9 April which will end on this attempt quiz now so when I click on this my quiz will start yes you can see here that question number one not yet answered mark out of one what is the name of tool for online teaching so I have selected the one option and click on next the Moodle is open source so I choose my option and finally click on finish attempt so still I have option that I can return to attempt if I have marked any wrong answer but when I am sure that okay I have answered all the questions correctly so I can click on submit all and finish before we submit right side also I would like to uh, so uh, brief here that quiz navigation is also given in the quiz so if you click on uh, every questions so it will show you that particular question what answer you have given so likewise uh, means we have finished everything and finally we are going to submit all and finish so it is asking the confirmation with ins means instruction that once you submit you will not you will no longer be able to change your answer for this attempt so okay let us go ahead and finally the answer is submitted so once you submit the answer immediately it will show the result also your answer is correct the correct answer is Moodle see for the question number one the Moodle is open source software true the answer is true okay so this is the method of creating the quiz in course so one activity can be performed and let us go and see the review so the student has uh, final grade for this quiz is 10 out of 10 so in this way quiz can be created in the course and evaluation can also be done by the content creator so hope I have been able to make you understand how we can add the quiz to the course in next video we'll see some other activities how we can add all those in the courses